Welcome friends to my channel The Electrical Guy. Today in this video we are going to learn this induction motor we use, how to connect this motor in star and how to connect in delta. This is what we will discuss through this video. Friends this induction motor I have it is of 7.5 kilowatt capacity. If you want to connect this motor in star or in delta or you want to run this through star delta starter, I mean you want to connect two separate cables then how you can do this I will provide you full information through this video. Before doing connections first of all you have to check which terminal is of which winding. For this you need a multimeter. So I took a multimeter here. Now select this multimeter in continuity position. So I selected the continuity position here. Now what we will do take the probes of multimeter touch both these probes together to check. This multimeter is making a beep sound and along with this it is also showing resistance. You can see the resistance is 0 ohm. It means we got that the props which we are using is in ok condition. Friends this motor I have is 3 phase motor. In this motor 3 windings are done. For all 3 windings there are 6 terminals. So winding is connected here. Now you have to find which terminal is of which winding. For this the props of multimeter here is to be connected at every terminal. I am connecting at one terminal. Now of this winding there will be other end. So we have to find this. So at all other terminals connect this prop to check. We are not getting any continuity from here. Now we will connect here. So by connecting here also we are not getting any continuity. Now we will connect here. So at this point we are getting continuity. So friends we identified that the winding connected here other end of this winding is connected here. So we found continuity for one terminal. Now we have to find the winding of this terminal. After connecting on this connect other prop to every single terminal. When I connected here you can see continuity is there. When connected on this or other terminal we will not get continuity. So we got that this winding here I mean on this terminal the winding which is connected other end of winding is connected here. Now for this third terminal we must get the continuity here. So we are getting the continuity here. We got that the winding connected at this terminal other end of this is connected here. After this at this terminal the winding which is connected other end of this is connected here and for this one it is connected here. So we understood that one terminal of winding is on this side and another on this side. Now we have to do the connections. First of all let us discuss about star delta starter. As you know friends in the star delta starter winding of motor is first connected in star after then in delta. How to connect in star and how to connect in delta let's understand. Friends if you have star delta starter then the delta contactor you use the wire of this will be connected on this side. I mean on these three terminals we will connect. Assume that here we connected R, here Y is connected, here B is connected. Now power supply from main contactor will be connected at this side. I mean one wire will be connected here, one here and one is connected here. So what you have to do connect three wires here which will be connected to main contactor. After this three wires from delta contactor will be connected here. That's it friends. This is how connection of star delta starter will be completed. Friends if you want to do the connection of this motor in star I mean at the terminals if you want to connect in star then how it will be done understand this. Look here on these six terminals we already identified which terminal connects with which one. Now what we have to do the second terminal here I mean one terminal is this one one is this one. In these windings the first end of this winding is connected at this side and other end is connected at this side. So what we will do at any one of the side we will place a short link. How to connect a short link listen. Friends if you want to connect the motor in star then what you have to do the other end of the motor all the terminals on other side will be connected together. I mean we will connect the short link in this way. If we place this short link in this way then motor is said to be connected in star. Now what you have to do tighten this perfectly with bolt. This motor here is now connected in star. After this the power supply here I mean R Y B three phase power supply will be brought here and connected here. Here R phase will be connected here Y phase and here B phase is said to be connected. Now this motor will start working in star connection. Now if you want to connect this motor in delta then how you will do it understand this. Before connecting into delta first check the continuity of this. You have to identify which terminal is connected where. So for checking continuity first connect on this terminal and other one on this terminal. We are not getting continuity here so go for other one. Here we are getting the continuity. 
This means this terminal and this terminal are of one winding. After this, connect on this terminal and check with this one. Here we are getting the continuity. One end of winding is connected here and other end is connected here. After this, for third winding, ends are connected here and here. Now you have to place short link here. For connecting short link, what you have to do, one winding and the other winding need to be connected together. I mean you have to connect all the windings in series and the last end is to be connected with this. How to do this? Look here. The winding of this motor which is connected from here to here, this one is not connected. For connecting this, what you will do, place a strip. I mean place a short link here in this way. Now this winding and this winding is connected together. Now of this winding, other terminal is connected here. So what you will do, connect this winding with this one. Connect these two with each other. So here also I am connecting a short link. What is done till now, these two windings are connected together. I mean from here it is connected. Now these two windings, this one and this one, connect these together. One end of this is connected here, so we connected these together. Now this last one, I mean one end of this winding is here, so what we will do, connect another end with this one. I don't have more short links now, so I am using a wire. If we connect this to short this, then motor is now connected in delta. So to connect the motor in delta, you have to connect short links in this way. Tighten these with the help of bolts. Friends, the motor I have, I connected this motor in delta. Before providing power supply, you have to verify first that the connections which are done here are proper or not. For verifying, the multimeter I have, select the resistance position in multimeter. So here I selected the resistance position. After this, with any of these two terminal, connect these probes. After connecting probes here, I am getting resistance as 3 ohm. After this, connect these to these two terminals. After connecting probes, here we are getting resistance as 2.9 ohm, which is approximately 3 ohm. After this, check for these two terminals. So here you can see that at all the three terminals, we are getting balanced resistance. Little difference is there because the contact may not be proper. So the resistance here is almost equal. Connections we done here is okay. If you want to give power supply here, I mean to connect R, Y, B phase supply, then what you have to do, bring the R phase and connect here. Connect Y phase here and connect B phase to this terminal. Now if your motor is running in opposite direction and if you want to change the direction of rotation, then what you will do, interchange any of the two wires. The connection we done here is R, Y, B in this manner. But if motor is running in opposite direction, then interchange R phase and B phase. So what you will do is connect R phase here and B phase here. Friends, I hope you understood how terminals of motor is connected in star and how it is connected in delta. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and comment on my video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.